Para mim. What's the Craft Academy all about? It's a whole hour of demonstrations. We know, because you've contacted us over the years, that you want to see more demos, more techniques, more tips, more inspiration. So we're getting our favourite crafters, like Louisa here, to come in and do like a, a, a one-hour tutorial for, you know, home use and, and that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, it's like you're having a masterclass yes, yeah. with, our, with our demonstrators and our guests, which is great. Now, the last demo we're going to do, now this could be, we're calling it a handbag jangle, it's not a dance or anything like that, although it could be. Uh, but equally, this could be a mobile phone charm, couldn't it? Equally as well. So, you know, these are very, very popular for handbags and mobile phones. How do we do this? Well, be sure, I'm sure you know by now, the process is very similar, using the, the Fimo, of course, and the moulds and everything else. So roll it out to okay. a few mil thick. Yep, so just roll it out. Now I want to make a two-tone flower again because I really love the the effect that the darker colour underneath has. Be good to show that again. So I've got my this one's ruby. Right. I'm just rolling it out. There are some really funky colours in Fimo, aren't there? Yeah, that's spectacular, isn't it? It is like you're you're rolling out royal icing, but of course it's not at all. It does look good enough to eat though, doesn't it? Yeah, but it? don't. <laughs> it is oven baked clay. <laughs> okay, so I just place the mother of pearl over the top of the ruby. Now the fleur usually comes with this size cutter. Yeah. Um, but the beauty of these moulds is you can mix and match the, the mould with cutters. So you can put a smaller amount of Fimo in there, you don't have to use up the whole mould. Yeah, to get lots of different sized flowers mm. out of the one mould. So we'll just cut out our shape. You can see it's pink on one side and white on the other. Now I'd like to make a different colour centre. So I'm just taking a small ball of the pink and I'll pop it in the centre. And that way when I put my shape on top and fold down, give is it a good press. Is there any um, restrictions as to how many layers of female you can put? Could no, you do three or four? You could get quite creative, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. Look at that with that pink edge around the edge, really effective. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Now I've got some, the powder, mica powder. I'm just gonna put a little bit of the, oops, a darker rose color, just to highlight around the center. I mean, even if you, you know, you know that certain people in your family are jewelry lovers, but there aren't, you know, not everybody is into their jewelry. Everyone loves charms. You can dangle this from your handbag. You can dangle this from your mobile phone if you want to. Um, and just a, it's a, just a little uh, token of love or you know, thinking of you. And it doesn't cost very much to do at all, does it? They're it's so a really popular. thoughtful gift. Yeah, they're so mm. popular at the moment, aren't they? Mm, hugely. Okay, so if you want to put a hole in it, again, I'll just get a pin or a piece of wire and make a hole and then I'll bake it and the hole will actually stay there. Brilliant. Okay. I love, what I love is you haven't got to leave it for hours and hours and hours. It's only 30 minutes. I'm, I'm the most impatient person I know. And if I'm working on something, I want it done there and then and, and see the finished article. So half an hour in the oven, set the beeper, come back, job done. And you can be making things like you're this. Not, you're not watching the oven, are you? I might be, actually. <laughs> so again, just pop the center in, put the cutout shape on top and fold over and press down. And you can see that's two different size flowers from the one mould. Mm. And again, you know, they don't weigh a ton. There's hardly any weight to them at all in actual fat, but they are incredibly strong. Uh, so you could put three or four on a keychain or something like that, and you wouldn't even know they're there. So. <clears throat> okay, and just a hole through. And then I'll bake those. Now, I just want to show you quickly how to make marbled uh, effect for the beads. Oh, great, yeah. Yeah, marbling's fantastic. Um, so I've just got some of the ruby. You roll and it out to a long tube. Yeah. Um, we'll I wonder how many people you've inspired today, 
Louisa, to, to take up maybe a little cottage industry or start a new hobby? Oh, I hope quite a few. It's so much fun, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, so often in our shows, we don't have enough time to do as many demos as we'd like, and that's what the Craft Academy is all about, so that you get a whole hour of dedicated inspiration from our experts. So, so I'll just twist that. Oh, I'll stick a rock. Yeah, it looks yummy, doesn't it? <laughs> it's or, um, not... Candy cane. Yeah. Mm. And we just keep rolling it and keep twisting it, and you'll get a lovely uh, marbled pattern. And again, to make my beads, you'll just cut small. If you like that effect, though, could you just bake that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Yeah. You can also use your two-tone. Um, you can just mix that together and get a lovely effect as well. Just make a round bead. Have you got your little... Uh, yeah. Pokey tool. Thank you. And I'll be careful not to stab myself. Don't my producer's is worried <laughs> about me, but no. There we go. Now look at that. Imagine a bracelet or a necklace. Full of those. Aren't they yeah, great? that's sweet, isn't it? That? That's really cute. So you can do that marbling effect with any of the colours of Fimo. And Fimo's not expensive, is no. it? No. I do love the, the dark pink with the yellow. Yeah, that yeah. works. It's almost like rhubarb and custard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's so that's the white and the pink. So it, none of the females wasted. You can mix it together, little scrap pieces, and get beautiful beads. And then again, attaching your um, your little creations. I mean, here on this on this this um, this handbag charm, we've got the two beads just there on a little. Uh, What's well, like an, an earring post, isn't it? This. Uh, I, yeah, it's called a flat base pin. Yeah. And you can get those really easily, and then just stagger them. You know, anchor them onto the chain at different uh, different drops. I was it head pins. I was trying to think of the word. Yeah, head pins. And you've then got a lovely handbag or indeed a mobile phone charm, which hasn't hasn't cost much at all to make, and uh, just so quick and simple and easy to do. Okay, so go. I'm just putting my jump ring through. Mm -hmm. It knows I'm under a time deadline. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure, Louisa. No pressure. Okay. Yep. So I just thread that through. There you go. That's as difficult as it gets. It's simple, it's easy. Remember the whole, you do that before it gets baked, put all the flowers into the oven at the same time. They'll all bake at the same time. Within half an hour, you've then got finished jewelry, which you can of course then put the jump rings onto if you want to, to make a single keychain. You know, again, you could sell these. Nothing stopping you selling what you make. It's entirely up to you what you do with them, whether you, whether you gift them or whether you sell them, or that it's just for your own personal use and your own love of jewellery. Fine. Now, okay, let's remind you then of those techniques that we've been using for this, the last item in our fantastic Craft Academy hour. Uh, you've got the roll out the female, as I said before, a few mil thick, cut the shape with the cutter, uh, and then put it into the mould. Push the mould down, job done. You then get that shape. And if you want to do the two-tone flower, just put two different colours of Fimo, place one on top of the other and then cut the shape out. Then, then put that into the mould. Step number four, uh, to create the marbled effect, roll out two sausage shapes, which Louisa just did a few seconds ago, twist them together and there you go. You end up with that fantastic, almost well, the one that we did was rhubarb and custard with the, the yellow and the pink, which worked really well. Market powder, you can add that to enhance any of the beads or the flowers uh, and then make a hole before you put it in before baking. And then when it's in there, you leave it for half an hour as with all of the um, uh, all of the uh, uh, clay we've shown you today. Uh, and then once it's all cooled, insert the jump ring and then quite simply just connect it all with the pliers. That's job done. Well, I've really enjoyed this. I hope you have as well. The Craft Academies are, uh, are proving to be really, really popular. And this is a, an opportunity today to see how to make all these gorgeous pieces of jewellery. Techniques that you very often associate with maybe um, sugar crafting for cake yes. decorating and things like that have now been adapted and had their own twist put on them with this fantastic Fimo oven bake clay. This is my favourite piece of all. Um, I loved it when I first met Louisa. I love it still today. You've got these wonderful silver and bronze flowers. Uh, they're all made from Fimo because you can get Fimo in metallics as well as um, block colours. And they weigh next to nothing, but they're incredibly beautiful. It's almost like a, an autumnal day, everything just floating there. And of course, when it's in, in the molten state, when it's not actually been baked, you can move them into whatever position yes. you want to, to make whatever shape you want to. Um, and remember, we've done the fantastic headband there as well. And and that fantastic statement piece necklace. So all of that can be done using Fimo. 
Let's just remind you of what we've shown and what we've actually made then over the last 60 minutes or thereabouts. Uh, lesson one was making the daisy ring and the headband. The techniques, of course, covered were creating the flowers, gluing the flowers, creating the two-tone flowers by layering the femo together. Lesson two was the making a statement piece of jewellery, that lovely necklace and all those fantastic colours. Gluing the flowers to the jewellery was easy. Just by a cheap and cheerful fashion jewellery piece of necklace or a piece of jewellery necklace, you can then decorate it with those flowers really effectively. Lesson three, making my favourite the leaf earrings and necklace, uh, creating the leaves using the moulds, attaching the jump rings to the leaves as well, making stunning jewellery. Lesson number four, we then went on to show you how to make that fantastic friendship bracelet and how to put a bail on the back of the flower as well. Beautiful, realistic and also making beads. I never realised you could do that, but of course it makes sense you can. Making beads out of Fino too. And finally, lesson number five, the handbag jangle or it could be a mobile phone charm as I mentioned before. Uh, all again, attaching the flowers, how to do that and how to create those beautiful beads. Superb. Blossom Art is what you've been watching and you've had a one-on-one -on -one tutorial with the lady behind it, Louise. It's been really good fun. It's great to see it's you again. It's been wonderful. So remember, whatever you do, whatever craft you're after and whatever craft you're interested in, keep an eye out for our craft academies. Whole hours of dedicated demonstrations to uh, really appeal to you and the craft that you're interested in. Thanks, Louise. Thank you. See you again soon.